Lama Tujman, you're watching Notice Express on Honorable TV. Tripura Chief Minister Professor Dr. Manik Shah on Tuesday said that the government is closely monitoring the overall situation to ensure that no one faces any problems during these difficult times as the impact of cyclone continue to reach. He mentioned that due to heavy rainfall in the wake of Cyclone Rimal, the Haura River has created a flood-like situation. Shah, however, said that this time it is less severe than last year as work on the dam has been very good, so the water levels have been managed better. Dr. Shah had earlier reviewed the flood situation in the Bardwal Islamic constituency area of the capital on Tuesday. As the water level of the Haura River rose due to Cyclone Rimal, the residents along the river bank had to take shelter in relief camps once again. He said that the victims were quickly rescued from areas that were in dangerous conditions due to the flooding of the Haura River. Later, Dr. Shah inspected the condition of the people who took shelter in the local Vivekananda School Relief Camp and inquired about their well-being. शेयर से भी इस बार काफी अच्छा है यहाँ पर सिचुएशन हमेशा तो इस तरह पानी यहाँ पर तो पानी गिरता रहता है हमेशा तो लास्ट ईयर भी ऐसे ही सिचुएशन हुआ था लेकिन उस हिसाब से अभी बांध का काम भी बहुत अच्छा हुआ पहले से इससे काफी हद तक पहले से कम है अभी यहाँ पर तो अभी सबसे मिले हैं और इन लोग का जो जो सीट मैंने डेंजर एरिया में है उनको लाने का भी हम लोग व्यवस्था किए हैं खाना पीना जो भी है उनको करने हैं सरकार की तरफ से भी हम लोग कोशिश कर रहे हैं ताकि किसी को कोई समस्या ना हो और आगे पला मिनिस्टर कॉर्पोरेशन से भी व्यवस्था किए हैं हम सबको भी मैंने भूल दिया इस डीम भी आ रहा है इन लोगों से बात करके और एक मैंने बोल दिया है बहुत लोग हैं ना घर छोड़ के नहीं आना चाहते हैं तो बहुत लोग हैं छाप के ऊपर अभी जो टीना है टीना के ऊपर अभी भी बैठे हुए तो मैंने कहा नहीं अभी आ जाओ क्योंकि पहाड़ से पानी आता है ना इसलिए बढ़ रहा है अभी खबर मिला है मैंने कहा सबको सिक्योर्ड एरिया में ले आए पहले से हम लोग ये कर रहे हैं तो यहाँ पर आए हम ये मेरा विधानसभा के अंतर्गत है तो मेरे ख्याल से धीरे धीरे सब ठीक हो जाना तो परिस्थिति और भी बदतर होगा तो इसके लिए सारे प्रबंध वो सब प्रबंध ठीक है with the prevailing situation due to the cyclone Rimal, the Directorate of Education as Manipur has announced three days holiday for all schools in the state from Wednesday as a precautionary measure. An order issued on Tuesday by Director L. Nanda Kumar Singh stated that in view of the widespread destruction and inconvenience caused by many to many households and installations across the state due to the incessant rain and floods that followed and in anticipation of the same in the following days and keeping in mind the safety of students and teachers of the state, all schools of the state government, government-aided private and central schools, which are not yet under summer vacation, will stay closed from May 29 to 31st. It stated during this period, all activities at the schools, including the admission process, should not be taken up. All zonal education officers, DI of schools, independent charges under the Department of Education School Manipur have been directed to inform all concerned under ZEOs, DIs and take necessary actions accordingly. Meanwhile, Manipur University's controller of examinations said all the examinations scheduled during 29th to 31st May have been cancelled. Continuous rainfall since Monday has caused widespread flooding, landslides and mudslides across Manipur. Rubbing more salts to the wounds, the relentless downpour in the state has caused significant rise in water levels of rivers. The significant rivers that cross the valley has already crossed danger marks, confirmed Irrigation and Flood Control Department on Tuesday late evening. There are several reports of Imphal River and Nambul River overflowing, flooding many areas in Imphal, including the Chief Minister's constituency, Hengang and CAFPD Minister L. Shushildro, Yamas constituency, Kurai besides Uripok, Sangulpan, including Kwairampam Market and Keshampat. The banks of Imphal River were further breached at several areas, including Korinke and Minotong area, flooding many parts of Imphal West. The history of Kangla has also been flooded. In the hill areas, the situation has been particularly dire. The NH 37 Imphal Jury Pump Road was cut off by landslides due to heavy torrential rains. The persistent rain accompanied by heavy winds has uprooted trees and blown off houses roofing in several areas. In some locations, electric lines and broadband connections have been severed, compounding the difficulties faced by residents. The inclement weather has paralyzed normal life. 
with many people unable to leave their homes. A bridge connecting Kangkokpi town and Saikul was also damaged by the stolen rivers disrupting transportation. In addition, many houses along the banks of the Sekma River have been flooded up to their roofs with some huts being carried away by the strong currents. A ward in the Regional Institute of Medical Sciences Hospital was also inundated, adding to the challenges faced by the healthcare providers. Jirap Court Complex is completely flooded and rescue operations to safely recover official vehicles and other important items are still going. In Lamlong and Kairang areas, the water level has reached almost to the roof and people started living in relief camps. The water has now breached inside the heart of city in Tangal, Bazaar, Pauna Bazaar and Alugali water has entered the shops. The Heavy rainfall has resulted in substantial mud accumulation across the state. Experts have warned that if the rain continues for another day, the risk of further landslides will increase, potentially exacerbating the already critical situation. Heavy rains triggered by Cyclone Rimal have forced 746 people from 246 families to seek refuge in 15 relief camps across the state, said Tripura Transport Minister and Cabinet Spokesperson Sushanda Chaudhary. Briefing the media persons at Civil Secretariat in Agartala, the minister detailed the extent of the impact on the state's response efforts. Due to incessant rainfall throughout last night, several rivers have risen above danger levels, causing flooding in low-lying areas along the river banks. Chaudhary reported that the state recorded an average rainfall of 215.5 millimeters over the last 24 hours until 8.30 a.m., marking a record. Unakoti district experienced the highest rainfall at 252.4 mm, while South Tripura recorded the lowest at 168 mm. Cyclone Rimal, now downgraded to a deep depression, has crossed Bangladesh and is currently moving through Shillong and Towai regions in Meghalaya, gradually weakening. Meanwhile, a total of rupees 50 crore has been allocated from the State Disaster Relief Fund to support those in distress. While the total losses from the calamity have yet to be calculated, an amount of rupees 50 crore is available with district magistrates for compensation. Although no fatalities have been reported, numerous residents have sought refuge in relief camps. The cyclone completely destroyed six houses and severely, severely damaged 185 dwellings with another 276 houses sustaining partial damage. Uh, 24, yeah, 24 hours. <laughs> The total uh, you know, average rainfall is 215.5 mm, which is up to 8.30 am today, which is the highest Record. in the history. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to uh, the average of 24 hours. And uh, Unukuti has received the highest rainfall of 252.4 mm, with South District being the lowest with 168 mm rainfall. This uh, cyclone Ramel has uh, crossed Bangladesh and weakened to a deep depression. At present, it is crossing Shillong and Joai region of Meghalaya and gradually moving north to northeast towards and gradually uh, weakening further into depression. The state government under the stewardship of our Honorable Chief Minister, uh, have been <coughs> keeping vigilance and monitoring the situation. Chief Secretary, DGP, they have had a series of meetings with the DMs, HDMs, and all the officials of the line departments uh, are on toes to accept the challenge and uh, do the needful in the coming times. The total loss as of now has not been calculated, but uh, a total amount of 50 crore under SDRF have been made available for compensation that will uh, as a relief fund for compensation. Total calculable land damaged is uh, 397 hectares out of which uh, 1,764 farmers have been affected with an estimated production loss of 3,804 metric ton and 
if you calculate in terms of money, it comes around 8.30 crore. Uh, this much uh, data we have at present. Uh, in the coming times, we will have a comprehensive breakup from each and every <coughs> district of the state uh, once the remedy is over. Is there any sort of, uh, life loss? And, and which are the no, there is no loss of life and it is a big news and a big thing for all of us. There is no loss of life. And uh, the relief camps? The relief no? camps, uh, 15. 15 number of relief camps have been set up in different nooks and corners of the state with uh, 246 families and 746 members have taken shelter in those relief camps. Government is providing it. Government is providing, DMs, SDMs are providing adequate support, foods, medicines, whatever, as in, as in, I mean, houses essential is commodities uh, to the uh, people who have taken shelter in the relief camps. And total number of houses uh, which have been damaged due to this uh, cyclone Ramel is six severely damaged houses are 185 and partly damaged house number of uh, houses are 276. We'll take a short break, keep watching. The Mahindra XUV 3XO. Welcome back. In a tragic incident that happened during the aftermath of Cyclone Rimal, a student lost his life after a massive tree fell on him while he was on his way to school in Morigaon's Nikalpari area on May 28. The victim has been identified as Kaushik Bordeloi Amfi, who was reportedly a resident of Tupkuri in Morigaon. Kaushik was travelling to school in a three-wheeler when the unfortunate event occurred. Reports indicated that a large tree fell on and hit the vehicle, resulting in Kaushik's demise on the spot. The Customs Division Imphal informed on Tuesday that a man was arrested along with 700 grams of brown sugar. According to the statement, acting on the basis of specific information, on 28 of May at about 12.30, the officers of Anti-Smuggling Unit of Customs Division Imphal nabbed one person along with 700 grams, 60 soap cases of brown sugar while trying to board a passenger Tata winger of the Mapur bound at Korengi Bazaar area in Fal East Manipur. The person has been identified as Muhammad Sabir Ali. The contraband drug was carried by the accused in his travel backpack. The recovered drug has been seized and the accused Muhammad Sabir Ali has been arrested under the relevant section of the NDPS Act 1985. The value of the seized contraband drug is estimated at rupees 3 crore 50 lakhs rupees. Tripura has imposed restrictions on power supply to Bangladesh due to an outstanding bill of over rupees 150 crore. Initially slated to receive 160 megawatts, Bangladesh now receives between 90 to 110 megawatts from Tripura. Ratan Lal Na, Tripura's power minister, clarified that while there are financial challenges, power generation remains stable. The Rukla and Gomati plants are operating at full capacity, while Baramuda operates at 75% and Manachak at 100%. However, the Palatana plant is only functioning at 27%. Not emphasized that despite these issues, Tripura has not halted power trading with Bangladesh. Debashish Sagar, Managing Director of Tripura State Electricity Corporation Limited, explained that power sales to Bangladesh are fa facilitated through NVVN, the trading arm of NTPC. TSCCL invoices NVVN, which then bills Bangladesh. With outstanding dues exceeding 150 crore, TSCCL has been urging NVVN to address the issue. Sarkar cited financial challenges in Bangladesh as the reason for delayed payments. The restriction on power supply aims to prevent a cash flow crisis within TSCCL. During peak periods such as summer, Tripura needs to procure power from the Exchange at a high cost to meet domestic demand. The reduced supply to Bangladesh ensures that local consumption isn't severely impacted. However, if the situation persists and power generation 
falters, Tripura may reconsider its power trading agreement with Bangladesh. Lawyers in Agartala, Tripura on Wednesday hit the street seeking restoration of power in West Tripura district. For the last three days, the court complex had been experiencing a power outage. With the court premises devoid of power for three consecutive days, legal operations came to a halt. President Brunal Khan de Biswas and Secretary Kaushik Indu of the Bar Association of Tripura made numerous attempts to resolve the issue, reaching out to the power department via phone calls and personal visits. However, their efforts proved futile as no assistance arrived. Faced with dwindling options, court advocates took to the street, blocking the road and bringing vehicular traffic to a standstill. The protest underscored the severity of the situation. Highlighting the frustration and inconvenience experienced by legal professionals and citizens alike due to the prolonged power outage. Speaking exclusively to Hornbill TV, Secretary Tripura Bar Association Kaushik Indu said that for the last three days there has been no power in the court affecting water supply as well. The functioning of the court had been severely impacted. Late, later, the blockage was lifted after verbal assurance of the power minister Ratan Dal Nath. That's because there is no electricity for last three days. We are very much suffering for last three days. No electricity is there. The people are not getting the drinking water and other facilities. The rock machines also are closed. So being bound, we, we block the road. Just to inform the, the authority that we block the road to uh, tell them and let them come to ensure that the current would come immediately or not. That's all we have for now. Keep watching on Bill TV.